All right, good morning. It's morning for me. All right, so let's look at week three and the assignment. We've looked at it already this week and uh, gone over some pretty good detail on it. But now let's focus on the other part of the assignment rather than the the theoretical background of it. Now let's look at the implementation. So first, we went over these, choose the delivery technology, uh, the different types of things that can be used to deliver, and then we, we got into the, uh, the metaphor and the concept. So there, there would be normally a lot to be considered this week, uh, but there's all these different options for a custom portfolio. And again, the concept of custom can be anything from customizing your portfolio on some of the, using these tools to that tool, Dreamweaver, to even further that tool, Adobe Flash. And you've had classes up to this point in Dreamweaver had two on that, APP242 probably, and a and DES241. And this class, you may have had up to three, possibly. Um, one to three or zero to three. So depending on your background and, and the uh, assignments in those classes, deal with portfolio creation. So I welcome you to use your work uh, that you created in those using those classes so let's let's kind of go through some of these and just compare and contrast all right now the, this list really isn't comprehensive by the way there's a new one that in town called Squarespace that is also on this same in the same category but uh, let's look at these <laughs> all right so what is this that's an expensive one if you want to dedicate server but we don't and this one uh no and these uh not really um because they're just overkill um Server hosting is what they, they've gotten into lately. Um, this is an interesting option right here, reseller web hosting, because if you're going to get into web development, custom web development, you could become a reseller of and create websites. I'm actually not with iWeb, but I'm with another company that is as a reseller of web hosting. So you can put your portfolio there, and then you can even add other people's portfolios. So this, again, is if you're going to get into the realm of becoming a web designer, a custom web designer, you need a place to host. So that's an idea there. I'm not... I'm, I am not a, a customer for iWeb. Let me see if they're referring to that or if they're referring to um, see that actually that iWeb I just showed you is is not um wasn't what that was mentioning. So this is mentioning iWeb on the Mac rather than iWeb on the web. That's why I was a little confused there. Not sure what's wrong with my internet here. I'm going to another um, browser. 
just to see what's going on. That's interesting. I'm not a uh, Yahoo search user. I usually go to Google. So iMac for the Mac. No, I web for the Mac. And for the Mac. Let's get into a little bit of the history. There's a chance that times have changed so much. It was a template-based WYSIWYG website creation tool by Apple. So this is a competitor to uh, uh, Dreamweaver. There it is right there. Okay. Note to self. Uh, oh, what's going on? There is something wrong with my internet, it seems. It would appear. Hmm. 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 What's going on? That's coming up. Maybe our website's down. Hmm. Intermittent issues here. Look at that. Graphics are not. Something appears to be affected. Note to self, remove iWeb. Okay, just get rid of it. It's old. So I'll have to update this curriculum. Okay, now let's go look at Weebly. I'm quite sure I'm positive. Weebly's doing strong, doing well. Online, uh, I think that you can have a version for free. There we go. That's your, that's one good option. So these are all the different uh, types of website, Just websites you can do. If you want your own, oh, see they leave in Weebly branding on this site. If you want to remove that, then it costs you eight bucks a month. You can choose the theme. Now, when you choose these themes, this is, we're getting on the borderline of you designing your own from scratch versus adopting one that has been decided. So, you have to ask yourself, what's a theme? How does that relate to our conversation thus far in the course? Because we haven't used the word theme. We've used the word concept and metaphor, but not theme. So where does it fit? Does theme fit more into the realm of metaphor? Or does it fit more in the realm of concept? Remember our conversation about these, this, these aspects of our portfolio? So it's well within your realm to choose one of these themes because this is 
it's part of customization. Yes, you can. Obviously, you're not designing one from scratch, which is the flip side of that. Of that, but. Some of you may not be wanting to worry about web design from scratch. You may not be wanting to get into that. And so therefore I offer these options or we offer these options to, to create your own portfolio. So that's one option and there is a free option to that. You, you can create a portfolio, choose one of these perhaps. And because what, they do is they let you upload your own pictures okay so that's one option let's see if webs is still going strong yep they are pricing should be okay so that's right away they don't have uh, they don't have a free option here they do have the themes that you can choose This is your line of work that you would choose. This is typically for small businesses. These templates set up for that. So I don't see they jump into industry already. So their themes are based upon the vertical industry that you're in so that's their concept of theme in other words an application to one of these areas is how they define themes so it could be dental theme or could be um whatever these are So I kind of think that this is, is not a good fit. Um, I'm gonna put in there Weebly has a free option. Useful for small business. In uh, varied industries, let's try this web starts and see how they're going. And they use the word design. Again, it's the, oh, look at this, resumes. There's no portfolio option. see if there's a free option five page web page is free this one allows you to have 15 pages contact forms 
that's interesting because if you want to have a server send you contact information, you know, like a form, like a contact me form, then you have to go this route. But here you can't do that. So I'm going to say free but limited. Has a free option. But it is limited. Okay, Wix, my favorite. Well, let's see. Wix.com. Templates. Businesses, business and service. And these, see, these are a little more generic types. Online store. So this is more of a concept here. Now these are, see, there's a personal portfolio. And then we've got templates, lots of them. I think I'll, I'll put that in here. Um, I have portfolio templates. I'll link to that. So, and then, uh, let me see, I think Squarespace. Ready? I'm on, I'm, I'm recording right now. Squarespace. So, let's see what they, these guys are really kind of killing it. They, uh. Little a different design here. Very simple. And yet it's a little bit difficult to navigate. Build a store. Hmm. Free domain. e-commerce now we're not our portfolio is not something that's like an e-commerce website this is a little bit a little bit more difficult to I'm, I'm surprised this is really not that easy to get into compared to Wix because like it's so Okay, well, there we go. Now they put us into a wizard. Choose your template. Look at that, there's portfolios. Portfolios. See, I don't know if they have a free option. Just sample portfolios. Not a lot of them compared to the other. See, there's a free trial. So that means it's not permanent. So I'm not really excited about that as much as I am about Wix and their portfolio template. Definitely interesting. Okay, now let's talk about this Dreamweaver. Everybody's familiar with Dreamweaver, I think, by now. Let's see, Dreamweaver. This is the new Dreamweaver. <clears throat> Dreamweaver for 
Creative Cloud. Slightly different if you were using CS6 before. So, the question is, do they have templates? Yes, they do. And um, Aha, uh -huh, right there. Starter templates, portfolio, responsive starters, site templates, starter templates. Um, so there's portfolio. Create. Let's save it. Sure. Sounds good. Copying the CSS over. And here we go. You can create your own template. So, so you can do that. Or you can use your work from, from your previous classes. Yeah, definitely uh, website hosting needed. See, I think I've heard of one that's free. Let's see, what's it called? Zero 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 web host. Free web hosting. Yeah, see, so they have a zero. They even have email addresses. You can even put a database on it for free. That's impressive. What I'll do is uh, web hosting needed. to publish to such as uh, hosting it at there for free. Um, a website hosting service is needed to publish to such as such as webhost.com now um i kind of shy away from requiring students to to upload their website to their custom website but i mean to just go through that because it's a little bit technical but frankly, I would definitely be willing to offer extra credit if you were willing to do that. Frankly, I, I really should. It's, it's a little bit technical, though. But it's using Dreamweaver. And you have to set up your, you just go through here and you set up your free web host. And then there's some information on a page that you then plug into Dreamweaver. And uh, for example, the information that you plug into is in these advanced settings. Uh, or no, sorry, it's in the servers. It would be, no, it's not in the servers. Let me see here. It's right here. So this, this, and this. And that is what you have to set up. So let me go through that again. So if you use Dreamweaver and you want to upload your website, again, this is technical. I definitely would, would give extra credit for this if you chose to go this route. You would have to, number one, set up the location. Uh, you'd have to set up the web server, and this is free. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between this and the others? Well, the others, you don't have to use Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver to send, to create the content or to send it up to their server. Wix, for example, you just do it all on their servers. In fact, all of these. You just do it all on their servers. There's no creation on your server plus upload to their server. It's all done on their server, period. This one here, it's done on your computer and then uploaded to a server. 
And that's an example of a place to which you can upload it. The other ones don't let you upload in custom, custom from scratch. But this one, this model does. And so you would create that. And in here, you're, you have to go to site and then a uh, new site and then okay did i say servers and then in here you set up your server you put whatever name you want and then you type in this information and then click save now where does that information come from well now that i'm into it so far why don't i just go ahead and see if i can uh show you i think i've already got an account here but let's say i didn't so sign up host my own domain no don't worry about that i mean that's unless you want to it's like uh you might want to set up your own like rjbdesigns.com or something like that but it's not necessary i think that would be definitely an added expense you can instead just say, oh, just put me on your on your website, but give me a oops, you don't need the dot com there, but give me a subdomain on it. So your website address would be this whole thing. So there you don't have your own fully qualified website domain address like you can do up here, but this would be see this? Oh, it says domain must be registered already. Okay. So maybe you, you go and pay for your domain, buy it. If you want to learn how to do that, I can uh, show you. Buy a domain cheap. Oh, GoDaddy. But I think that GoDaddy is their own hosting service, and, and they'll, they'll charge you 99 cents, but... They don't have a free option on hosting it. It'd be a monthly $5 fee or something like that. Sure, they'll charge you 99 cents to create your mycustomname.com, but they hook you into a contract of paying five bucks a month. Name cheap. Let's see that. So, my design rjb.com they'll say yeah, it's available no one else has that and but see there it is right there to have your own domain it's going to be 10 bucks a year practically but this one is actually discount or you can have a variation Look at this and see how they have different prices. Isn't that interesting? All these different types of domains now. The dot com is not the only thing. You get all these others. There's even more. And they all have different prices. It's kind of weird. The dot com, typically it's about 10 bucks a month, but you can see these other dot domains vary in price from inexpensive to expensive okay so you don't have to do that but I you know you might want to create your own domain or buy it between you know whatever whichever one you choose here depends on the price so anyway so we'll set this up I'm gonna go forward here this chip brown RJ is it there? Yeah. I'm just showing you how to set up an account. It's a free account if you want to upload um, Sure. Oh man. Three one oh three. Okay, so this is free to do, and there, and it's also free to host. See, I knew it. I already have an account. Click 
question is, what's my password? That's, hopefully I got it. Mm, no. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've been here. Try password number two, and if I don't make it, I'm done. Okay. Not getting there. All right, let's maybe option three here. Reset my password. Anyways, my goal is to log to show you the information. There's a, a page that has information that you would then transfer into these fields here. If you want to learn how to do that, I'm not going to go into that anymore because then I have to go and get my password and reset it. And I don't want to do that. So if you want to learn how to do that, it's pretty simple. Once you get logged into that free thing, and there'll be a page there that says, your FTP address is this. Your username is this. Your password will be this. You know, your root directory is this. This is the location of your web address, you know, depending on which option we use there. Okay, anyways, let's move on. And I'm going to come back to our edit assignment and say um, custom or using a template, they have portfolio templates. Two. Okay, so much for that. Now, um, the other option is using Adobe Flash. <coughs> Let me see if Let's see. Let's go with the latest. Got both CS6 and CC on this computer. Okay, here's Adobe Flash. The question I have is do they have a do they have any kind of template? I don't think they do. Let me see. Don't be flash portfolio templates pre download. Mm, wow, that'd be cool. Now that's the online version. So you might think, oh, I can download a <clears throat> download a uh, Adobe Flash template here? The answer is no. This is just, remember that option we saw there where you can use, this is all on their servers. Now let's look at this here. Wow. Wow. Check it out. That looks kind of old. It's a little bit newer. Oh, what's that? Behance will let you download. Huh. What, 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 what is this? Is Behance letting you down? Look at this. Portfolio template. Look at that. Action script three. Let's 
So, so what do we have? What is this now? I'm getting a little bit confused on what it is. Premium version with admin. So, it's all it's all online though. Easy CMS that stands for Content Management System, managing all the pages. See, I think this is. So this is a portfolio that is being sold. I don't know. See, that's. Um, let's see here. Projects. Very interesting. Well, I'm, I was thinking that they're going to let us download a template, <clears throat> but I'm still not clear. I haven't seen anything like click here to download. the download right there pre portfolio template portfolio template hmm there it is right there oro Hmm. It's very interesting to run into this. Um, Try to figure out what might be an announcement that explains this. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna to to do some more research, I think, on this. I I I see the download and I'm downloading that right now, so let me see what um what option there is. Okay, this is just downloaded. This is, I've been looking for this Adobe Flash, so this is what we're on right here. The question is, is there a downloadable 
portfolio template for Adobe Flash. In the same way that we looked at Dreamweaver, let's look here. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay, that's HTML. Hmm. See that? This is not Flash. Well, there's some Flash. Hmm. See, the Flash object itself is in Flash. So it looks like an, an HTML website that, see, that's an HTML website that has a component, a gallery component that is based on Flash. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that is. So, well, it's an HTML file with a gallery component. So I'm not seeing any templates that we can use for portfolios that you can download and then customize. I'll try one more time. Adobe Flash Portfolio. Template free download, that's exactly what I want. Yeah, this is it. This will work. Wix. Oh. I've been redirected to Wix. How about that? That's funny. <laughs> Let's see, Adobe Flash. That's funny. It's it's this site just redirected me to Wix. Flash Mo. Flash templates. Watch this. Let's see. Okay, flash template. There's one right there. Portfolio, right? Okay, see? Went to Wix. All right. I'm starting to think that Wix is... Just give me one to download. See there. Okay. So is this flash? Yeah, it is. Okay. Bashuka. Let me see. Is this a portfolio template? There we go. Okay. So these are flash. All flash templates that you can download. I like I like this. 
Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Free bill templates are available from Bashuka. I'm happy with that. So let me show you how that's done really quick, quickly. Download the template. Oh, bummer. I want. I, I was leaning towards that one. Let's see if we can get this one. Take one over there. Hmm, that said free. Did say free, didn't it? Hmm, I don't see it says free. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they aren't free. Oh my god, let me think. I've got I've got some other ideas. What are they? Um Here's another one that that might be a good one, but let me just look a little bit further. This one is the one that I've been to before. It's kind of interesting because you'll find that uh, the design is both HTML and Flash sometimes. And these are WordPress templates. Those examples. WordPress. Funny, funny I didn't even mention WordPress on here. That should be in that list. Up here in that list. I'm because I'm sure you can find some uh, portfolio templates for that. Still looking for flash. Here we go. Bam. I clicked it. Yeah. Okay, so I've got that. Now, photo gallery template. So if we do flash plus
a photo gallery template, the combination of those two, See, now these aren't free. And I want to add free to this here. Hmm. You don't have the ability for me to click on free. Hmm. Maybe they're not free. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of getting a little discouraged here. I think we went there already. By the way, web.com is, is another one in that list. I think they're website hosting also. Well, I don't see that that's custom, though. Well, I'm kind of getting a little discouraged because I don't see some free Adobe Flash. See that right there? Download and test this free Flash website template. And Flash. Flash templates. I want the free ones, guys. Where's free? Site templates. Where's free? They used to have free. These guys. These don't look free. They just don't seem to have free anymore. This idea of responsive is quite quite important. It actually means that it can accommodate a little cell phone size. We talked about that before. I showed you that. A responsive template means it responds to the size of the device that's. Anyways, I'm giving up on that. I thought they had free. I'm giving up on this search to find free Adobe Flash templates. Just giving up on it. Okay, so, so much for that. Because I downloaded this one and it was not all Flash. The only the gallery portion of it was Flash. All right, giving up on all that. So let's pull back, pull back, pull back to here. I added WordPress. Let's jump back up there. See, we were down here. Now we're going to go back here real quick. WordPress portfolio templates.
These are probably free and downloadable. Oh, they're not. People are selling. By the way, that's a business you can get into, selling themes, selling these themes, creating them and selling them. I think that that we should, if any of you are interested in that, let me know, because that's actually, a, I think, a really good discussion. Got to be free. I put quotes around the words of it that I feel have to be in there. Responsive is very important. It's funny, this, this company is right near where I live. I think I want to be on these, these people's list, personally. Because the fact is, this company is local. Responsive design, that's very good. More info, download, and demo. Okay. I'm going to just add this. I have to take this off because that's just not true. And this. Let's see, free templates are available at color. Just go like this. And we'll call this done. All right, everybody. I uh, hope to later go do a review of the assessment. So for now, I'll go ahead and upload this. All right, so let's call that a day, and I'll upload this, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.